So. Let me just. K rule versus Greninja. Yeah. All of the Weepits have been banished into losers. Thankfully. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love Weepit. I don't really love Weepit. Stop having a stupid ledge roll. But you know who's not on this in this match right now? Weepit. <laughs> we have uh, the big dinosaur versus the tiny amphibian. So this is a really uh, this is gonna be a really interesting matchup because like just the fact that like K Rule uh, like he's constantly just has things out and just like combined with like the armor he gets, it's gonna be uh, Jigrun's gonna have to be very uh, careful with like the openings that he goes for. But if he gets them, he should be able to move uh, 808 off stage. So you say that, but remember, like, uh, um, Jesus Ugh. Christ. I definitely was buying I was gonna time say as that, uh, I was tweeting. So, yeah, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, remember that Greninja's counter has, like, so much usability, especially, like, against a character like Cable that has really projectable shutdowns. Mm -hmm. Particularly with the crown. If he, catch, if he does the, uh, the, the counter on the crown coming back, I can set him up for some crazy stuff if he has that presence of mind to go for it whenever it's available, which can be really tough. Oh my god, he keeps trading with projectiles. I mean, he's fine with it. He's got the stock really? lead. Big guy. He could, uh... Oh, he has an option to beat that! Ah, boo, that might be death. Wow, that Bro, missed. not like this. Not like this. Oh, yes, like this, I guess. That really missed? <laughs> Yeah, apparently. I mean, yeah, I guess he wasn't expecting that, like, a huge rise there. All right, counter doesn't fully work still. Very nice. Uh, hate to see it. Oh, my God, that shirt can move so fast. Ooh. Giving him the standing ovation. I can I can see how they struck here. Um, the high ceiling is gonna definitely help K. Rule, especially versus a character like Greninja, who like can do those kill off the top up air drills. Oh uh, yes, it's time for Metal Slug, boys and girls. I love it. All right, so we have. So has Jaguar landed a counter at all? Because I'm pretty sure like the same thing that uh, that Martina can do to counter K Rool coming up. Greninja can also do the exact same thing, and he has an actual spike. Oh, uh, landed a counter other than the one that he whiffed? Uh, no. Like on his up B, I mean. Yeah, no. I mean, Jaguar I... hasn't really gone for it, and I don't know if he's trying to like save it for a very specific situation. Bro, don't. Well, that's gonna be that stock. Was it worth it? Was reading his movement with such a commitment worth it? I don't think so. Hey, he did like a little slide because he like caught the crown. What a weird yeah. character. There's not that many characters that can do that kind of thing. I think Isabel is like one of the other ones that can do it. What does she catch? Uh, when she when she has when she buries the Lloyd rocket and then uh summons it out, she can do a slide. Okay. Oh, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I've seen that before. Yeah, very nice. All right, Jagron has more than enough work cut out for him right now. Oh, man. He oh, keeps... my God, the counter. They're not yeah. managing to get the last hit. Mm, too much damage. Ah. And... <laughs> the lock went flying. Yeah. And then Jagron's just like, oh, he's just throwing shit at me. Maybe I should try counter. And it, it's kind of worked out for him, but not like terribly a lot. Oh my god. Good roll through to prevent the counter. He tried to hit him. The crown armor is too much. What a weird move, man. It's like, what if he throws his, his crown? His music is like so frantic. What if he throws his crown and, get this, you can't stop it. You can't stop it. Nintendo stepping Andrew. like, interesting. Yes, I like that. Does he do this in the game? No. No, no, actually he does do it in the game. He actually does do it in the game. I'm full of shit. And you can't stop him? No, you can't stop him. If you touch it, you get killed. 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 
Yeah, DK dies. DK and Diddy die in one hit in their game. That's Remember? incredible. I guess you wouldn't know this. Never mind. But he totally does it, and then he, he kills me. Huh. He's actually very accurate to his game, please. Hilarious. Jigrun is going in. Damn, Jigrun did a really good job of evening up that percent, honestly, but uh, that's oh, the end of that it percent. It didn't even matter. In the end. Yeah. Specifically. Alright, so... God, Zeno ain't gonna make it to Grands. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to count out Jigrun, but it's just, I'm just trying to think, like... This K. Rule has been going off. Schmixen, bro. Schmixen. And, uh... I don't really know what to say about it. I'm definitely eating hot chip right now. I'm well, enjoying this wonderful smash action. Oh. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. This smash is pretty good. Bro, Jagan with a great comeback. Taking 50% between his uh, second to last and last stock of a uh, 808 plus stock. And he's pretty damn close to finishing the, the match in his favor. Hmm. I'm like saying K. Roll played well. Too scary. I agree. Three, two, one, oh, hell yeah. yeah. I cannot identify this. Whatever. Ooh, baby. Okay. So we see Jay Grunt opting for PS2, it's a bit of a wider stage, more room to play around in. I'm assuming this is one of uh, 808's uh, stage strikes. And that's why we didn't oh, go to game, game one. one. Yeah. I'm assuming. Obviously don't have any proof, but uh, Jay Grunt has been very impartial to the stage. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was uh, 808 strike. Ooh, God, it makes good counter, it good so fast. Counters are really good at that. Or, uh, reflectors are really good at that. Oh, he didn't move forward fast. He did it, like, right at the tip, so it didn't connect properly. And it away with the perfect DI. Alright. He's just, he's just trying to keep his distance here. He's just like, look, man, if you don't want to approach, I'm, I'm fine with it. I don't care if I'm at 127. Uh, That's basically 60% for him, yeah. And once he gets hit by a smash attack for overextending. You just throw out something that you know that you can just, like, tank a hit with. Yeah. Best case scenario, you both get hit, but you're underneath him now because he doesn't have Oh, my... K. Rool has like no end lag on his forehead. here. It's so silly looking. Like, he lands on his butt, but then he's just like silly standing up again. All right, but Jagrun gonna finally put uh, first blood in this match, taking that first stock. <laughs> I feel when you have no faith that it's actually gonna drop some jump so it doesn't hit your shield and then it ends up hitting anyway. Aerodash not going to quite make it to the ledge, but it's okay. I, I just want to see Jagrun just counter the up B once at near the ledge. Just specifically to just spike him. Jagrun, if you have the stream on, if you are listening, pay attention to my voice right now and specifically go for the counter against K. Rule's up B. Think of it like Lucina. We'll see if that works out. You want me to get your Professor Xavier doing the, uh... No, nah, this, this, this time I wasn't brain blasting. <laughs> I love it when, uh... When Main Wolf had that fade in. I've been, like, trying... Oh, to, uh, he was, went for it! Good. Good, he went for it. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> now you just gotta do it a little bit cleaner next time, and, uh, that's actually a pretty, uh, good tech there. 
how do we feel about <laughs> online commentary that is totally coaching because we can't control whether they turn it off, but we still need to talk about the match. Oh my god, what a conundrum. Dying off the side to the shuriken. Look at him scuttle. Look at him scuttle. And for the first time, uh, Jagran has the lead this set. Very good for him. Uh, can he hold it is the question. Oh, he got up. He did the thing. Yeah. Ooh. Apparently there's like 22 frames when the game just is like frozen completely in place for Greninja's uh, counter. Yeah. I know a lot of counters are like that, but like 22 frames seems like a Oh my god, that light hit from the Nair, you really can't react to something like that. That's such a, a weird scenario to be put in. It like, can't blame him honestly. Alright. Waiting for the shuriken to the pass for final get up. Alright. <coughs> Man, you can really rev up the, the toss from the crown by like while jumping onto the stage, like before it gets a chance. And the crown negated the shuriken, and they were able to run in and like go get him. Yeah. Alright. This is the fact that like when the crown oh hits the god. shuriken, like oh, god. oh he's fine, he's fine, he tacked it, it's fine. Terrible. It's fine. Or counter it. He needs, to be, he needs to be comfortable with it. He could have gone Wow, he went right fine. through the stage like that. Take him to a pillar stage. You can oh, counter. Re grab, but he's not he's not gonna try and uh... Okay. Jagarin is just looking for that opportunity <laughs> to come in safely. Oh. I think if he had like committed to like making the in the command grab Ooh. come out. God, this is getting scary even He's fine, he's fine. Man. No, come on, guys, stop getting hit by that! We really, we really don't see that thing coming on, do we? He waits up too well. <laughs> How tragic, man. Bro, Did he air dodge? this is the third time? And you don't even have an excuse, he Jake. Didn't air dodge. Bro, why are you up airing near the blast like that? He thought he Bro, wanted to be doing? cool. He thought he could momentum cancel, then he forgot that that's two games old. <laughs> Even if he did, even if that was his, even if momentum canceling was in this game, I think Nair would be faster. Nair's like frame ten. Yeah, but for twelve. Like... I'll bear is definitely faster. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Just use Zelda like me, so I don't think that's a real. It's really good Woo! here. I think uh, Jake Grant just needs to not get hit by the the bowling ball twice. It's really one of those moves Jay, where it's please, like, I'm going to bro. <laughs> Come on. It's really one of those moves where it's like, I'm going to put this out there and I'm going to hope he gets hit by it because if he does, he's going to die. Oh, he got hit by it? Neat. <laughs> God. All right, yeah, so um, 808 banned Final Destination and Pokemon Stadium 2. I just have him in my head because this song is playing. I just like have Core A Games. Like, hi, and welcome to another episode of Core A Gaming. Here we're going to talk about throwing out moves that you think are safe just because you're far away from your opponent. And yet, when they just throw out an attack and you just get hit. Here we're going to talk we're about that. Town <laughs> and shitty. Jaguar is going Samus, is what I would say if he was going Samus? Seamus? <clears throat> He's going Shamish. He's going 100% suit Zamis. Yeah, all right. Dark Blamis. Not actually. But Blamis, now but I'm, dark. Now I'm really wishing I'd save they set for stream. Losers. We might be waiting for loser semis for a while. So that's okay. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, here we go. Uh, Jay Grunt's final counter pick. Uh, what's he gonna do? Picking Samus and Town and City. We were on Town and City game one, I think. Yep, that's yeah. correct. Okay, so he wants to give this another try with a new character. <laughs> uh, but I love. I actually really love the way that 808 plays the character because he doesn't like 
he doesn't let his belly get hit that much, so he can really save it for when it's super important for him to have it, to use it. Yeah, he goes like one step beyond. He's like, I don't need to use belly armor to armor things. I can armor things plenty in other ways. Yeah. It's actually pretty close, all things considered. And, uh, yeah, can Jake Run survive? Uh, nope. Um. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely, uh, clown shoes right now. This is 100% clown shoes. I guess the right, main so question is, is how confident is 808 in making sure that even if they're on the same stock, can he get the kill first? Okay, he flew away for a moment. I uh, got a taste you of really anti-gravity because of that up air. Yeah, what's so funny? Uh, Jagrunt is one of the people that's like, screw Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is more shit, especially because I'm playing for Ninja. I'm going to play who, uh, Samus. doesn't benefit from Wi-Fi. <laughs> now he's playing Samus. The queen. And I think he's going to test a statement about how, like, it's, about how he's losing because he's playing Ninja. Alright, well, 808, uh, not really that high in percentage given his weight, so, like, let's see if, uh, he has to tack on some damage for it to matter. <gasps> and, uh, gets a command grab, alright, ooh, not, not enough, god, does he move slow from such a strong hit. I want to see him go under charge. the stage. Wow, these are all two framing. Incredible. Yeah, no. Impressive. God, he <laughs> tanks it. Can he tank oh, the he fully charged one? Uh, I think he can, yeah. That's for, actually, no, I don't think he can because it's upset me. It's not knockdown. Let, uh, let me check what's my frame data. Alright, well, anyway, uh, 808 sitting at a cool. 0% on his last stock. Oh, that's pretty good percent. It should be at 0%. Yep, uh, Jagrun uh, finally going to even up those stocks, but 88 damage. Not the worst, except like 808 just keeps hitting him and yeah, it's over. Yay. Nice. All right. Yeah, but it's uh, Amazing. We're, we're done here. We're, we're done here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So armor is on armor on crown is from frame 6 to 63. Well, yeah, uh, it lasts for nearly an entire second. Yeah, and it is 14.4% in 1v1. Well, thanks for the 100 bits, Meryl Steeler. Thank you for the dollar bits, Meryl Steeler. You always give us bits. You spoil us. Thank you very much. Have you <laughs> what a high have you bending. At, have you looked at a... <laughs> have you looked at a K-Roll's down B animation? Where he expands his tum. Yeah. And it's really creepy. Yeah. Oh, so they have like a... Uh, the visualization for uh, for K Rule's up B is literally just his helicopter backpack. And like it shows you the insides of it, which I kind of appreciate that. It looks like it's D 